All right, hello guys, and welcome to another podcast with Officer Dan over here, and we are going to be talking about uh, the nominees for the Game Awards 2018. Yes, just like Santa, Christmas time, another yearly endeavor, another even more powerful being descends upon <laughs> us in the month of December. The Grand Mountain Dew Dorito Pope himself, Jeff Keeley, <laughs> descends. <laughs> from his mountaintop volcano laboratory of madness to bestow his mm. grace and blessings <laughs> of Dorito dust and proclamation of what's best in games for the year. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. So, let's start from bottom to top because we all, we all yeah, know... We'll be discussing the yes. nominees today. Totally. I already voted, like, at least, I think it was the last month I voted. So I'm not going to vote again, really. I'm not just going to cheat, because that... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Any... This is my first time seeing the nominees. Um, so right. you'll get some knee-jerk reactions from me on some stuff, probably, for sure. Right. But hey, that's pretty good. Yes, right? of course. It's entertaining. So from bottom to top, we got the content creator so who do you who do you think will win or i mean do you actually know any of these people like i know ninja i I haven't watched any of these people's streams i honestly haven't but i have heard uh the nominees are dr lupo myth ninja pokimane and willy rex yeah uh everybody and their mother knows who ninja is yeah um the (laughs) only other two i've really heard of are pokimane and myth and if it's uh, if myth is the guy i think he is i just thought he was like a a strong counter-strike player or something i don't have a strong opinion on any of these right me neither i mean and we can still discuss it uh right after you know uh the the game awards at least uh if these are still irrelevant i mean i know it's game related but <laughs> I mean, we talked this. Uh, we talked about this uh, last year in the in the post uh, the video game award. So yeah, th- th- there's some things here. So we can scroll up again and we see the best esports moment. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay, I guess Smith is a League of Legends player. Uh, I just checked that really quick. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, C9 comeback, dude. The esports I watch typically don't show up in these kinds of things. Yeah. I I used to be really deep into competitive Smash, and I and I haven't oh, been of lately. Course. I have esports I like to watch, just super casually. So I know who Cloud9 is. They're so talking about a Cloud9 comeback. I know who they are, but I don't know what that comeback was about. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> G2 beating RNG, no idea. Base race, that doesn't tell me anything. Uh, yeah. So there's some. So it was like the there's one of Evo, which I really do watch yes. a lot of Evo, which the this uh, is the one Dragon I know. Ball Z. This is yeah, the only one I know, and I I know about this situation. Um, yeah, I got to see some of fighters at Evo. I definitely know who Sonic Fox is. Yes, exactly. Uh, that. But yeah, I, I heard about this situation, so uh, that's where my vote goes. He's a <laughs> he pulls off some amazing stuff in Dragon Ball. Yeah, um, I yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I I just really like that game. No, me too. So. Me too. I I it's, it's, it's a I think it's nominated here. I do not remember. Uh, I see it here. I sent you the the link. Yeah. Um, okay. What what I meant was the Dragon Ball Z nominated as the video game itself. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Okay. I need. Yeah, we need to scroll up, but uh, let's see what's next. Will be the best esports host. What the oh. shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> so we got Paul, Red Eye. Uh, we got what? Who is this woman? Oh, I cannot pronounce that. (laughs) (laughs) Eve G 
Stocks de portere. Well, I do not know. Okay, so there's uh, uh Anders Bloom, if I'm not mistaken, Alex Machine, Richardson, and Alex Golden Boy Mendez. This is the one I have the least amount of an opinion on whatsoever. I have zero clue who these people are. Yeah, this is why the video game awards why anyways let's just keep on uh yeah let's see uh, best esports event this says the international 2018 valve's dota overwatch league grand finals nope I think league of evo. legends world championship and oh definitely evo, evo yep yeah. and then there's e league yeah it's evo evo is the one i watch <laughs> evo has games i care about because it's fighting games instead of like MOBA yeah. games. I mean, like people are more excited. Like people, like I mean, w when Smash comes out uh, in an Evo next year, like the Smash Ultimate. I mean, that's gonna be the t the top watched. I mean, I f I really feel sorry for the League of Legends one and uh, whatever the other tournaments. Evo is always gonna be watched, and e I think Evo is is on both platform like at least twitch and youtube so yeah i, I mean <laughs> evo is an easy win for me. yeah exactly yeah so scrolling up let's see we got best esports oh my gosh <laughs> more i zero <laughs> <laughs> okay okay dan this is this is like this is like me nominating uh best um um let's see mario maker oh yeah <laughs> but yeah mario course. maker maker like Look, who the freak knows man like <laughs> i like esports zyber i really like esports um, yeah i do i do too i but... believe in it <laughs> um, but just... i i don't follow it that close the coach like are we even that far anyways we got uh, from bottom to top, we got this Janko YNK, uh, Jacob, uh, Dylan Falco, Danny Sonic, uh, Christian. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Book Reaper Han Gyu, which is, of course, an Asian. I mean, if you make me pick one, there's he's the. Uh, Last one you just mentioned is uh, Cloud9, so I guess that one, but I really don't care. Scrolling up. Oh, gosh, this is... This is, this is what oh, now we... it's Teams? Okay. Uh, okay. Um... So if cloud Nine's going to be in here, then it'll be Cloud9. Yes. Okay, then it's yes, Cloud9. Yes. Let's see, scrolling up, we've got the best esports player presented by Omen by HP. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Um. JJ, no. Oh, my gosh. Sung Hui. Oh, shit. That's uh, like some Alexander Jian. Uzi Zihao Hajime Tokido Taniguchi. He's he's gotta be Japanese. <laughs> Dominic Sonic Man, Fox. Fox. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Sonic Fox. Yep. So scrolling up, best esports game. Okay, now finally a freaking video game. Okay, this I can have solid opinions about. Overwatch. I think League Overwatch is gonna. I no. I think Fortnite is gonna win because Fortnite has a lot of For players. Yeah. I don't see how it's competitive. Like I, I can't really believe in it being such a competitive game when you have random loot. And yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's a bit of a stretch for me. My favorite esport game to watch out of these is definitely CS:GO. <clears throat> because yeah, outside yeah. of outside of Smash and other random fighting games, I love watching Counter Strike. Yeah, yeah Counter Strike is a really fast pace, so it's really entertaining to watch. So yeah, I will n never, ever in my lifetime be on the level the professional Counter Strike players are. Oh, hell no. I always <laughs> I always love telling people a reason why I, I do like to check in on competitive Counter Strike is it feels like 
it's a team of psychics versus another team of psychics. They just know exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, my prediction will be, well, I mean, Fortnite is just the most popular at the moment. Uh, I think Overwatch will come out second. Dota 2 and League of Legends are the freaking dead last. At least CSGO could be second or third from all these. But uh, the most popular is Fortnite at the moment. So even though I, I do not agree if it actually wins. But, you know, it is it is what it is. So scrolling up, we have best debut indie game. Cool. All right, so we got Yoku's Island Express, uh, The Messenger, Moss, Florence, Donut uh, County. Uh, I can played... tell you right away that Donut County is like a really short game. So ha have you played any of these ones? I I've seen though. an entire Let's Play of Donut County. Okay. Um, I own Moss and haven't played it yet. So I... That speaks for something, but I just haven't played it yet. Okay. Um, the Messenger I know nothing about. And Yoku's Island Express legit looks really cool. Uh, it's, yeah. I've heard it described as like Metroidvania meets pinball. However that works. It, it looks like a really cool game. And I, yeah, I don't know anything about Florence. Yeah, I, I mean, at least they 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 kind of like they they did like a trailer for this uh, video game awards this time. Like, they actually uh put what well, we actually talked about last year, uh, Officer Dan, that we said that these indie games need to be promoted before the video mm -hmm. game awards, and they actually did it. They actually did like uh trailers for for, for most of these indie games too. I was like, okay, now now I know that they actually exist, you know, beforehand, before, you know, voting. Of course, I don't have money uh, to buy most of all these games and, you know, indie games, but uh, it's good to support, too. I mean, yeah. I mean and I, I have to change that myself. But, yeah, it's... It, it's at and least... Moss it, is, yeah. yeah. It, it actually Moss changes. Moss is a VR game. Indeed, indeed. Which is special that um, an indie developer, you know, usually is a developer with not a lot of resources, but they were still able to put together a, something yeah. for VR. Exactly, exactly. Which I think it's pretty sweet. Which is really good. So we're scro scrolling up and we see best student game. So this this was something that you and me, Dan, we talk about uh like yeah yeah the these are student games yeah they need a promotion they actually did it this year and i'm really happy they did it and uh, of course we barely uh know or play these kinds of games but at least they they get their you know their moment in the trailer so we can at least know what they are so so we got here lift I mean, uh, Recharge, Lift, Jera, Dash, is it Kauzar? Quasar. Quasar, yeah, okay. And Combat 2018. So, let's see. Never heard of it. Yeah, anymore. never heard, yeah. it's uh, it's. But it's, it makes me want to look. I mean, Lift, I see, like, I like the art just by looking at it. Lift, it's pretty, pretty good looking. So, Dash Quasar almost looks like it's a VR game too, because there's like two floating hands uh, yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. It has to be PC. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So scrolling up, we have best multiplayer game. All right, all right, all right. So we got Sea of Thieves. We got Monster Hunter World. We got Fortnite. We got Destiny 2: Forsaken. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Well, I unfortunately think that, uh, Fortnite being a yeah. popularity contest I mean, is going to win. Fortnite is going to win, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a multiplayer game that's on everything. Yeah, exactly. It's on every platform. Even your mobile phone, it's like... 
literally everywhere. So, so Fortnite has the advantage everywhere. So Fortnite. Ha- as far it, as what I would pick, though, I mean, it would have to go to Monster Hunter. Monster World. Hunter, of course. Yes. There's so many huge fans of Monster Hunter that were just wanting to get Monster Hunter on something more powerful. You know, instead of yeah. just 3DS, and they finally got like their big, beautiful, exactly, yes, console released game, the first yeah. one in forever. Yeah, I I think the the most anticipated for Monster Hunter uh, fans, and uh, yeah, I think it 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 has been a a really huge present just for them, and uh, yeah, I I totally agree. Monster Hunter should win. I mean it it. It gained some praise, and uh, but Fortnite, I don't know. I mean, if it's going to be, man, what I hate here is that there's there's video games from last year. That's including Fortnite. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you're we're rating and we're voting for something fresh from this year only. So, Video Game Awards, please fix this because we're... We're voting here for old games from last year. And, like, if you put Fortnite on every freaking... For the for the last three years, and Fortnite gets more popular, which it's hard uh, today. But uh, if you keep on putting Fortnite, Fortnite is going to win. I mean, <laughs> unless it's something tops Fortnite. And, and yeah, that does something... Uh, to surpass it, it's very hard. I mean, stop putting all games. That's all I ask, really. So we scroll up and we see the best sports slash racing game. Oh gosh, I have. Okay, so we have Pro Evolution Soccer, which no one likes that one. We got NBA Two K Nineteen. We got Mario Tennis huh. Aces. Mario Forza, Tennis Aces is in here. Forza Horizon 4. We got FIFA 19, which is obviously... I, I, I don't know why Pro Evolution is here. Really. Just fuck. <laughs> so, NBA 2K19 doesn't deserve to be sold on store shelves. It's uh, yeah. like such a greedy cash grab like at all. Like even <laughs> worse than... Even worse than... um. FIFA on here. Two oh, yeah. soccer games. Yeah, exactly. Two soccer games. I mean, and one only racing game. Yeah. One. <laughs> well, to me, to the layman uh, who doesn't, who isn't in that deep with racing games, it just feels like Forza was the first racing game I've seen in a while that started to, new, to do new things graphically. That actually kind of impressed me. Yeah, I have, I have. Like Forza. the dynamic. Yeah. Um, and I'm a huge Mario Tennis. I really loved Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64, but um, I don't even own this. That's how much of a drive I've had to even do that. So. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. Um, the closest one to win is to, it, it could be NBA 2K19 or Forza Horizon 4. I I own Forza Horizon 4 on my Xbox One and it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful yeah, game. Yeah, really. it looks like it. Yeah, and I, I and I love cars. I, I love looking at them. I like you know talk about you know sports cars or you know those those kinds of stuff. I, I and and I still need to learn a, lo- a lot about cars and uh, and of course I use these video games as references since they're more accurate. So yeah, I totally love for uh, Forza Horizon Four. So it's between NBA 2K19 and Forza Horizon Four, and uh, third place could be Mario Tennis. Um, I think Mar isn't isn't it double nominated here? I think Mario Tennis is also in a party best party game. Okay, let's keep uh, on scroll. Yeah, I think it's nominated okay. twice. Okay, so let's scroll up and we see best strategy game. Okay, so we got here Valkyrie Chronicles 4, which that was a really good game. Into the Breach. Uh, Frostpunk Battle Tech. That was shit. 
Uh, the Battle banner. Tech ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the banner. I watched a little. I watched a bit of some someone playing that one. Oh yeah, and the Banner Saga three. Yeah, Sorry. Banner Saga three. What was bad about BattleTech? Um, I don't know. Um, it was something about um. The I I think it was some issues with the online. If I'm oh, not mistaken, okay. yeah. Yeah. Now I, I mean the, the, these are strategies game. game, so. <laughs> yeah. I heard really good things about Frostpunk though. Oh really? Oh that's pretty that's pretty bad. <laughs> so I think Valkyrie should take the win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you that it's graphically Valkyrie is the best looking one. I mean at least for me. It's just yeah. looks really good. Man, it's Japanese too. So Yeah. All right, so we have yeah, best family game. Yeah, we we got Mario Tennis here. Yes, <laughs> I for, I didn't forget. So we have Super Mario Party. We got Starlink uh, Battle for Atlas. Starlink shouldn't be here. Oh boy, yeah, I totally agree. So we have over Cook Two, Nintendo Labo. What? The hell? Okay, and Mario Tennis Aces. <laughs> All right, so we got three. Nintendo Switch games here. Well, technically, yeah, it's three Nintendo stuff here. In no way, no, because Starlink is a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, we got four. W yeah. What about Overcooked? Well, Starlink did come out on other things, I thought, but yes. we had exclusive stuff on Switch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think is it on Steam? Because I haven't seen it. I don't know. I could check really quick. No. No? Hmm. Because I, I, I haven't seen it on the PlayStation either. So I think it, it is a third-party exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. I thought it came out for everything. It says PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Okay. Um, it's just that the Switch version is probably the best version of the game because there was exclusive uh, Star yeah, Fox stuff. Yeah, exactly. And the toys and all that. And the ships and it looked pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a family game. Yeah. That's that's my... I'm like That's more like a competitive game, though. <laughs> that's more like a... What category is it, anyways? I don't know, just uh, action game. It, yeah, it's it toys to life, game. that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, maybe since it's like family thing because of the toys. Uh, because Nintendo levels here and it's like basically toys. <laughs> like literally, it's just. <laughs> I don't know. I think best family game will definitely Super Mario Party. Mine goes to Super Mario Party. Yeah. It's the best Mario Party I've played in forever. It's really good. It's really solid. And you know what? If this is the best, uh, you know, appropriate mm -hmm. for family play, yeah, yeah, definitely Super yeah, Mario totally. Party. Yeah, totally. Mario Party is for it's for family. Yeah, it's no doubt about it. So we keep on scrolling up. Best fighting game. Yes. This oh is boy. My specialty right here. So we got. Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition, which I do not agree with. That I is mean, last this, is, place. this this game this game is like three years old, four years old. I don't even know. Like, what the shit? we got Soul Calibur VI, <laughs> Soul Calibur Six. Yeah. We got Dragon Ball Fighters, and we got Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, which I still don't have that awesome game, but that yeah. game is awesome. So it's um, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. I don't I don't obviously this best Street Fighter that ain't gonna win. No, that that's last. It's it's between Dragon Ball and Soul Calibur, and I think Dragon Ball's gonna take it because it's a. It's big Dragon ass. Ball for me, man. I yeah. love I love watching Blaze Blue. I just don't own it yet. I right, I like right. I like Blaze Blue a lot. I love the me art. too. Me too. Um, but. Dragon Ball is like the first fighter I've gotten kind of like really pumped and excited for in like a long time. It looks for something good. that's not. This looks good. Yeah. It's 
looks gorgeous. so good so... and it's so fun and yes. i want to get good at it yes it, it it does feel you like man i really i i'm gonna get good at this game the edge of tournaments at evo <laughs> yeah so you played it yes i i have it on the xbox uh yeah i couldn't Who find do you it. like as your team as my team, I use uh, Piccolo. I use um, Nappa. Nappa's my Nappa. Nice. Is, Nappa is my 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 main on that one. It's weird, but yeah. I love and, it. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I like to switch between Yamcha or Tien. But I think Tien is uh, is that third one. But yeah, it's uh, Piccolo. Um, Yamcha, no, um, Tien, and, uh, oh gosh, uh, I forgot his name, I just said it already, Nappa, yes. Yeah. So, Na Nappa, I think no one can beat me with Nappa, dude. <laughs> no. uh -huh. So, yeah, we, we, I, I totally agree, I think Dragon Ball, I think, even if there, it's fan base as an anime, it's a it's a big more the uh, Dragon Ball fan base is bigger than Soul Calibur. Let's just be real. I mean, yep. So uh, scrolling up, we've got best role playing game. Okay, so we oh. got oh well, we we got some really tight here. Uh, this Pillars, is tough. Yeah, this is tough. Pillars of Eternity two. That uh. Yeah, Dead Fire. We got Octopath Traveler. Oh gosh, Nino Kuni Two. Oh, Monster Hunter World and Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. This is hard, Zyber. Okay, so we got a a Capcom role playing game. We got a Square Enix playing role playing. We got a Two Bandai Namco uh, role playing game. We got a obviously another Square Enix. Uh, Role-playing game and Obsidian Entertainment role-playing game. Oof. All right. This is hard. I do not know. I, I don't. I think either Dragon Quest or Monster Hunter. But Nino, Nino Kuni is right there, man. And Octopath Traveler has been has been doing so freaking well. Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, I uh, this is this is really tough, but it I was tough. so excited when they first announced Octopath Traveler. Traveler I've been yeah. I've been wanting like the graphical style that this game presents in anything for a really long time. Ever yeah. since kind of like Four Swords Adventures, where it's kind of similar. This right. this is different enough though. Um, it's also the one that I own. Well, no, actually, I own Nino Kuni also. Mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. tough between Octopath and Nino Kuni for me. Yeah. It's tough. It's, it's tough. tough yes. Yes. And I guess I have to go with Octopath because I actually own that one. Of course, and yes. Play, and I've spent more time into it than I have Nino Kuni. Exactly, so. exactly. Nice, but, nice, uh, nice. It's almost not fair. Yeah, it's yeah, totally <laughs> not. A tough one. <laughs> totally a tough one. So, so yeah, I think. For me, it could be either Octopath Traveler. I think that's that's the like the most popular, or Monster Hunter World. Yeah. So, man, it's just so tough. When I when I see Dragon Quest, like oh gosh, it's just these are so great, you know, role playing games. They're really good RPGs here, man. And I think they're all Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. Except for the Obsidian one, right? Mm -hmm. No, I think you're right. Yeah. So, there, there are JRPG then. So, scrolling up. Oh, God. Best action adventure game. Okay, this, is, this one's kind of tough, too. So, we got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We got Red Dead. Oh, God. We got Seems Marvel's... like Red Dead barely made it in here. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got uh, Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, we got God of War, and we got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. All right. Okay. I own all of these games. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, I own all these one, two, three, four, five games. And these are triple H. Yeah, it, this this is hard for me right now. Oh well, only one of them sold me right away, and that was Spider Man. Yeah, well, so we my talk, yes. For me, for me, my personal choice will be God of War. Uh, God of War for me was the most uh, uh, fast pacing, story driven, also with the music and the sound effects and the gameplay. Everything was just was just for me because I really like those kinds of hack and slash plus really good story. But, you know. Same thing I, c I can say about Assassin's Creed, Spider-Man, Red Dead, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But, uh, of course, fast-pacing action game, of course, adventure action game will be God of War for me. So, then yeah, that, that's, this is pretty tough for me. So, we keep on scrolling mm -hmm. up, and we see the best action game. What? <laughs> Okay, we got Mega Man 11. Finally, we got something different. We got Far Cry 5. Destiny 2 Forsaken. What the shit? Dead Cells. And we got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Alright. Gosh so, dang. Dead yeah. Cells has to be in the same category as Mega Man 11, which is a shame. Yeah, I mean, it should be a category for side-scrolling action game. Isn't that right? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I would like it to be like that. I don't know. Totally. I mean, because it, these two side-scrolling games are competing with Far Cry, which, do like, what? And and then on the top, we got freaking Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Like, it's totally different genres. Like, for yeah. God's sakes. Yeah, they, I don't know, man. I, I know it's best action game, but... I see Mega Man more like a. It's still a side scroller. It's a shooter. But uh, it's just more than just a f action game. I mean, yeah. It, I don't know, man. I just I I see this category right here pointless because it could either win Far Cry Five because it's like the favorite or Call of Duty Black Ops Four, and like. People will, will, will be like, oh, then I'm going to just choose between two of these. Either Call of Duty or Far, or Far Cry 5. Whatever. So I think Far Cry 5 will take the win. Sorry, Mega Man 11. I mean, I love you and all that, but damn it. You're just in a bad category right here. It's just mm -hmm. unfair. So who do well, you think? My vote's on Mega Man 11. <laughs> yeah, man, me too, me too. But yeah, being realistic... Yeah, it's, yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So we keep on scrolling up and we see Best VR. Okay, so we got a Tetris effect. We got uh, Moss again. Firewall Zero Hour and Beat Saber. Beat Saber is really fun to, to look at sometimes. It's just really yeah. cool to watch people like so, play that game. Uh, I haven't got a chance to tell you this yet, but I... I actually bought a PSVR this last oh, really? Black Friday. Yeah, it's wow. really exciting. Nice. I only nice. played it for my second time yesterday. And um, Ice, as far as I know, who is currently staying with me and is in town, which of is. Of course. Cool. <laughs> I hadn't played any VR games before, so uh, he got to spend some time with it too. So I have, uh, I have some opinion on all the games here. People are loving how gorgeous tetris effect is <laughs> really oh wow um, yeah you boil it straight down for for tetris so i i just don't i just don't get it but i do kind of get it okay it's just hard for me to stack it up against the others so All i right. technically own three games in here um which is sorry i have to sneeze oh okay bless <laughs> thanks uh i own moss astrobot which came with the pack. It was like a bundle. Those two games. And then I and then I'll tell you what. Like because I wasn't paying attention to VR games. 
just because I had no idea when I was going to get a headset. Mm -hmm. So right, I, I just right. didn't, I just didn't pay attention to that world. I, I didn't know what was out there. Uh, but I, I had heard of Beat Saber like forever ago. And I was just like, oh, someday when I get a Vive, Beat Saber would probably be pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah. So I get the headset and then I'm looking at games. Like everything that's on PSN and whatever. Yeah. And I saw Beat Saber. It came out five days before I bought my headset. I was like, oh, Beat Saber's on here? Wow. You, so you got excited. lucky, man. You got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> five days before I got my headset. So it's an inferior version to what's on the PC because PC's been out for way longer and they have of custom course. songs yes. over there. Yeah. So there's a smaller song list and stuff like that. But. I don't care because it's my inferior version of the game and I love it. So as long as you vote, have fun. Yes. Yeah. My vote is probably on beat Saber. Beat Saber. All right. But yeah. I really want to try firewall too. Nice. So. Nice. That's good to hear. Yeah. All right. So we scroll up and best mobile game. Whoa. So we got reigns game of thrones. We got PUBG, we got Fortnite, we got Florence, and we got Donut County. So, oh, oh gosh, okay, so. Mobile, you know how we feel about mobile games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it here? I don't know. I, it's because of PUBG and Fortnite. That's it. I guess. Yeah, I get. I mean... <laughs> So Some I, people I thought were saying that the, even the mobile version of PUBG was better than the full game. I don't uh, know how true damn. that is. Though. <laughs> Me neither. I don't. I don't know what they're talking about either. So uh, all, all I know that Fortnite it's 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 still good looking on on mobile phones, but I mean we all know that Fortnite is gonna win. Yep. Uh, it's. And second place, PUBG. Whatever. I mean, Won't well, even bother. Yeah, <laughs> let's just scroll up. Whatever. <laughs> so we got a best independent game. Okay. Um, isn't this the same as indie? <laughs> that is confusing. We did have an indie category, yeah, right? Exactly. I gotta scroll yeah. back down. Yeah, we. we it, it's like almost the same games. Family games, strategy. Except for like Dead Cells is here, exactly. There was and best Cellist. game. Yeah, best debut indie game. What the heck? What's the <laughs> difference? Oh gosh. Is it's... it just because it's the first game from a particular indie developer? It, yeah, exactly. The... Yeah, is like come on. Oh, whatever. I think I think Dead Cells will take this one or Celeste. Gosh, it's so tough between Celeste and Dead Cells. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. It, it's but it's between those two. So yeah, I I think Dead Cells. Celeste. Oh gosh. Oh ne okay. Let's just keep on rolling. All right. Yeah, that's hard. G games for Impact. Oh gosh, and we got repeated games here too. So we got the missing JJ. McField and the I and the Island of Memories. Okay, Life is Strange Two, Episode One. I don't care about that. <laughs> Lawrence, Celeste, and Eleven. Eleven Memories retold. I think Celeste is gonna win. I gotta go for with Celeste because yeah, that's Celeste. seriously that was seriously impactful for some yeah. people. Yeah, Celeste. Scrolling up, and we got best performance. Okay, so we got Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker. He did an amazing performance. Okay. Yeah, that he was a great. Yes. We got Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption, of course. Uh, he 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 did he really did good as a really good red Nick. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, we got Melissa, Melissa Anthony, Ma Mahut. What a what an interesting first name. Yeah, <laughs> Melissa Anthony. Melissa Anthony, yeah. As Cassandra, I love Cassandra. I, I I love playing as her because I cannot yeah. stand. 
Uh, Alexios. No, I can't. I can't. I oh. can't play it. No. Everybody loves Kratos. Oh, oh. <laughs> Brian Deckard is in here. So we got Christopher Judge as Kratos of God of War. He did a great the, performance. No, yeah, everybody loves him, but Brian Deckard is in here. Oh my gosh, I, I loved him as Connor, in in Detroit, and he's uh, he's an awesome guy. I think he he, I think the the character in the game is him, right? Like his his, his face. Yeah, it's his yeah. face. Yes, yeah, his face. Yeah, I'm like, wow, nice, nice. That's good. Oh. So Man, I don't know. I don't know one. how you go up against like Kratos, like the man. <laughs> yes, boy. Like, <laughs> yeah, every everybody loves that. But oh, you're up against my votes. For, I gotta vote for Brian, though. The yeah the yeah the charts yeah. Let's see. Um, I mean, Cassandra did a really amazing voice acting. I mean, and, and this is like last year we have four women actresses, and this mm -hmm. year we have like all men and one woman. <laughs> it's the way around, and I like it. I like it, and uh, and, and at least I, I mean I think Cassandra will be like. I just she 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 has like a, this amazing voice, man. I I don't know. But yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough because now I know the, the guy from Red Dead Redemption, Morgan. I mean, he he mm -hmm. did a really amazing performance too. So I don't know. I don't know. This 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 is like an Oscar nominee type of thing because it's it's tough. You but, know why? You know another reason why the why Brian is like worth the death too is because he had to. He had to record so much for the different exactly the, of the point game. yeah because it, it had multiple stuff on how you actually yeah. do the and progress in the game so yeah he he, he had to he had, he to, had do to do a, do a lot, lot of stuff yeah yeah i think i give it to him yes all right nice. yeah so we scroll up and we see best audio design presented by dolby okay all right so we got red dead Oh my gosh, we got Marvel Spider-Man, we got God of War, Forza Horizon 4, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4. Okay. All right. What do you who do you got, Dan? <laughs> oh, man, for sound, I don't I mean it's still just coming out of my TV speakers. <laughs> um Gosh dang, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's tough. I mean, they're... I don't have a strong opinion either way. I guess I would just I don't know. The, I played uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, I bet uh, Forza is probably cool, but oh, because so, you have yeah, let's let's just break it. Yeah, let's it. yeah, let's break it down. So we got Western, we got Modern with Spider-Man, yeah. we got Ancient with God of War, we got Modern Cars in Forza, and we got Futuristic with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I mean, when you think about Forza, you have all these different seasons. So they're creating all this ambiance and exactly. wildlife. Exactly, yeah, and yeah. The different, the different weather. They're replicating, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the engine sounds and how the tires are performing against different kinds yeah, of And each, each different car, it's a different sound. So, yeah. Wow, it's it's kind of tough. It's it is it is tough. I mean, Red Dead Redemption has the larger map, which mm -hmm. the the horse, the gunfire, the uh, let's see, also the music, the ambience, the there. There's a lot of stuff going on in Red Dead. I mean, if, even though it's a it's a slow pacing game, mm -hmm. so it's either Let's see. I mean, God of War also had a, an amazing... Oh, God. This is tough. Even Spider-Man. So, I'm between... So, Red Dead, God of War, and Forza. Yeah. I guess I'll put it towards Forza. Yeah, I think Forza. Yeah. 
And I think it, it's it's tougher when when you have to like trying to imitate real car sound. So yeah. So let's see. Uh, scrolling up, we have okay, best score music presented by. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. Okay, whatever. Um, we got Red Dead Redemption Two, Octopath Traveler, Nino Kuni Two, Revenant Kingdom, uh, Marvel Spider Man, God of War, and Celeste. All right, who do you got, Dan? Man, I love Celeste music, but you have a whole lot more work put out for you when you have an entire orchestra and stuff behind mm -hmm. Nino Kuni, dude. Mm -hmm. Like. Do you have the you have the studio Ghibli, Ghibli like oh, yeah. aesthetic yeah. going on? You have to have the music to kind of at least come close. Yes. And pair with it. That's like just part of that experience of like, you know, of the of that studio's pedigree. So. Mm -hmm. Uh. I'm not entirely sure why, why Spider Man's even in here. It was really cool, but it's not a thing. Everything like kind of matches the pace with yeah. a lot of stuff. But... I think there's just a few themes there, but and I'm not deep uh, enough into Octopath Traveler to tell you one way or the other. So my vote's probably Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni, because you have to pair up with yeah, yeah, with the aesthetic you have. Of course, yes. And I think that's a that's a strong challenge all its own. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll go with that. All How right. about you? Yeah, I'll go with uh, God of War. God of War uh, made myself fear even in the music and hmm. feel very powerful, uh, you know, because of the music. So that's that, That's a lot. I mean, and the orchestra and the, and the chorus. And, oh, my God. It was just amazing. It was, it was uh, Sparta. It was, it it felt like you were a warrior, like listening to that to the yeah. to that music. So, I go with God of War. I it, it, it I I feel that it, it's either Celeste, God of War, or Nino Kuni. So. It's tough. So we scroll up and we see best art direction. All right, all right. This is I think this is a tough one too. Return of the Obra Dan. I'd like to see video of this because I've only ever seen screenshots. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have a strong opinion on that. Jeez, that screenshot looks kind of violent too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure if I want to see that. <laughs> oh, like, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, like monochromatic like Game Boy, except like in 3D. Maybe. Yeah, kind of like it, yeah. So we got Red Dead Redemption 2 also. We got Octopath Traveler, God of War again, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Octopath doesn't Octo stand yeah. a chance against, yeah. you know, the millions of dollars thrown at high-end graphics. But I, Octopath Traveler is what sold me from the get-go because I've just wanted graphics like this yeah, so it's badly the, it's the art so, it's the art design yeah. it's i think octopath travelers should win and i think it will win just because i hope of, so yeah man because it totally de deserves it because just by looking at the art and the gameplay it just looked like something that is drawn cgi'd and then you can play it yeah <laughs> it's just amazing it's just really good so it should be Octopath Traveler. I, the environments I are extremely gorgeous. Exactly. Yeah, indeed. The indeed. Characters totally so agree. Sad. Totally agree. It's just amazing. So we scroll up and we see best narrative. Okay, okay. So we got Red Dead Redemption 2, Marvel Spider Man, uh, Life is Strange 2, God of War, Detroit Become Human. Oh, man. So who do you got? Yeah, I know. I it know. is. Uh, it's tough for me to put a vote on such a heavily story-driven game. Uh, even though it's such a heavily story-driven game, Detroit. I mean, 
mm-hmm. it still has it still has some of that David Cage presumption <laughs> presumptuous prideful like riding behind it mm-hmm. uh i can i can tell it just kind of has that stink on it still yeah, i mean the to become human is l- literally narrative yeah your mm-hmm. narrative is whatever you want it to be mm-hmm. yes um, i'll get gi- i'll give it to detroit yeah me too yeah <laughs> yeah well i'm just saying marvel spider-man had one of the best endings I've seen oh, yeah. in, oh, yeah. in recent times. Yes, yes, you got that right. The dynamic, especially just with everything that happens in that game, without spoiling it or anything, but mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. the the tight dynamic with Peter's relationships. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of tough for me between Spider-Man and that. Honestly. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, I will definitely go with Detroit or either God of War. Okay. Yeah. So we scroll up and we see best game direction. Oh, God. Okay, Red Not Dead. Not Detroit. Marvel, Spider-Man, God of War, Detroit Become Human, and A Way Out. Okay, uh, I'll definitely, oh my gosh, this is, this is tough between at least three that I'm looking at right now. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like, the direction for God of War War was amazing. Spider-Man's direction was amazing too, but Red Dead Redemption was just pure. Holy freaking damn, yeah. Yeah, I might yeah. have to be Red Dead. You Red might Dead. actually vote for Red Dead on that. Totally Red Dead. They took like the first Red Dead period was just like the first like really high scale Western yes, game. Yes, exactly. To the massive AAA and everything. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally so, agree. I might actually give it to Red Dead on. Yeah, this. Red Dead. Yeah. So we scroll up. We see best ongoing. Oh gosh, this category, best ongoing game. Okay, let's see. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. I think that's still popular today. Overwatch is yeah. freaking dying. I don't care. Forget Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, that No Man No Man's Sky was dead on arrival. <laughs> it's ongoing in a in poor directions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No Man's Sky. <laughs> And how many players does that have? That's got to be have the smallest player base out of all these games. Less than freaking Battleborn. <laughs> 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 well, that. Anyways, we got Fortnite. We got Destiny Two for you know what the hell? Like Destiny Two Forsaken was nominated. Like <sighs> that's not the best. They're nickel and diming uh, people who are sucked into the grind. That's definitely not going to win. Fortnite, obviously, is going to take the freaking win. Or Tom Clancy. It's either of those two. Because Rainbow Six Siege has been getting more... I don't know. Like It, it has been like at least two, two years that has passed already. Three, maybe, from, from Rainbow Six Siege. It might be about right. Yeah, I mean... The what's the oldest one in this, in this category right now? Let me look it That's up. A good Hold question. On. Yeah, let me look it up because it's category says best ongoing game, right? So let's see. Uh, Destiny two. Yeah, cause gotta make sure, like. Yeah. Sure. Okay, September 17th. That that was last year. Destiny 2 was last year. Fortnite was last year too, right? I mean, yeah. they had betas before, but No Man's Sky was uh, 2016, right? If I'm not mistaken. Could be and right. let's see. Overwatch. Overwatch was last year, right? No, no. Overwatch no, was uh, uh, 2016. Yeah, I remember 
than winning Game of the Year, which I was really pissed off. And Rainbow Six Siege, let's see. Can't see it. What the hell? Yo, just just tell me the freaking release date. <laughs> 2015. This is the oldest wow. one. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, okay. It was released on December 1st, uh, 2015. So the oldest one in this category is Rainbow Six Siege. So, yeah. Although you get some credit for going on for that long, I suppose. I guess. But uh, the winner is going to be Fortnite. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Kind of hard to have hope for any others. Yeah. Here. So, okay, let's see. Scrolling up, we got Game of the well, Year. Here it is. Game of the Year. Yes. So, we got Red Dead Redemption 2, Monster Hunter World, Marvel Spider Man, God of War, and Celeste, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. How? I love Celeste, but how did I get here? I don't know. It's up against uh, giants. Yeah, it's up, it's up against Giant. Exactly the point. <laughs> it's, it's not fair either. So, let's see. Let's see how we can break this up. Uh, all right. So, Red Dead Redemption is at least number one right now. It, it has broken a lot of records. Uh, Best-selling. Um, the most entertainment uh of all times <laughs> yeah so it's a it's a record-breaking video game so yeah um so we got the monster hunter which uh came out late um earlier this year but yeah it, it's up against red dead and it's up against marvel spider-man marvel spider-man was gorgeous was very very good fast pacing really really good gameplay overall uh let's see what else god of war oh my gosh it's uh god of war it's it's in my heart man it's just <laughs> yeah celeste i haven't played you but uh i don't think you i don't think you belong here bro <laughs> yeah yeah um and we got assassin's C assassin's creed odyssey which was i think this is the best Assassin's Creed Odyssey in a long ass time. Well, okay, I can guarantee you that it evolved very good. Like, they totally dispatched what was actually way too repetitive and went to the uh, RPG elements type of stuff. And I like it. Um, so, who do you got, Dan? Who do you got? Man. <sighs> Um, I know it's tough. Spider Man was the the game, the only PlayStation exclusive I yeah. have been excited about for my PS4, and since I don't know when. I honestly, I honestly can't even remember the last time I was excited about a PlayStation exclusive game. You know, uh, but I almost. <sighs> I want to play Red Dead really bad. I'm sure it stacks up. I've I haven't heard anything bad about Red Dead. No, you know, just... I just I just haven't played it. Uh, I think, and as much as I wanted to play Monster Hunter World, uh, it's hard for it to stack up to the others in some right. certain ways. To mm -hmm. me, I don't know. Uh, just kind of the the learning curve for that. I I don't really know. I want to play it really bad. I'm not calling it bad. <laughs> it's just hard against the popularity contest yeah, of some yeah, of these exactly, others. Exactly, exactly. Um, I've just been out of Assassin's Creed for a long time, so I'm just taking your word for it. It sounds like it did some stuff that was pretty different this time, like with story yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And I think the setting for it is really cool. But I just want to maybe just say just screw everything and vote for Celeste because it's really sweet that a game of this caliber is up against <laughs> all these others. I saw this wonderful fan art. I, it's not, it wasn't even fan art. It looked like it was from one of the game's artists or creators. You had, you had like a big monster hunter hunter guy and then uh, Arthur from, from Red Dead and Kratos and then the, you know, the Spartan lady or whoever. All yeah, and Spider Man yeah. all in a picture together, all grumpy and angry, like they're taking this photograph. And then, <laughs> and then you had, um, and then you had the player character from Celeste. I don't know what her base name is because you name her whatever you want. Okay. Uh, so for our playthrough, it was Carrie, <laughs> and she was just this short little girl, the only girl smiling, like the only person smiling in this picture, and shorter than everybody else, looking right into the camera. And it was like the most adorable thing. So I might just say screw it and vote for Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly between Celeste and um, Spider-Man for Spider -Man. me. Spider-Man, nice, nice. I really like Spider-Man. Nice. Oh, Spider-Man really... 2 was just one of my all-time nice. favorite games. The best superhero game ever made mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. was Spider-Man 2 for a long time. And then this came along and just passed it up just by sheer force of, you know... Right. Game game design improvements all around. Oh yes. How about you? So let's this is see. gotta be tough for you. Yeah, this is oh god. It's like oh, only mostly all the games except for Celeste because I, I have Monster Hunter myself. I got Red Dead, I got Spider Man, I got God of War and Assassin's Creed. <laughs> And, and and I play I play them all I I, I enjoy them all uh, in their own way, of course. Um, right out the bat, like I've been uh, saying, you know, later on this video, early on this video is you know God of War, won my heart. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's for me God of War is is the game of the year for me but wow okay. unfortunately, unfortunately i mean i do love also red dead redemption which i mean it's an amazing game but yeah um since the fast pacing kind of stuff really gets to me quickly so god of war has to be the one so yeah it's a uh, it's a tough decision, but yeah, and we all know that Red Dead Redemption is gonna win. If not, then that will be very surprising, cause I mean, it's the most sold game, uh, but that doesn't mean it will have the most votes. So these things could could uh, be very surprising in the Game Awards. So. Most of all these games will be announced and announced and, and be announced like backstage like oh yeah like you you will see like random people that you don't know saying oh yeah this this game won best um art design and like okay why aren't you giving it a freaking award like the trophy that mm -hmm. we, we've been seeing that for a long time with the the video game awards like in backstage you just say the win i'm like just stop doing that <laughs> so so we 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 got the 2018 the video game awards prediction and who actually we want to win or you know it's some of them are really tough to just like say okay this is this is tough to decide but yeah guys vote votes very vote very smart i mean don't vote because you hate you you, you start hitting a, a console or a video game like the all, all these video games are art and even though they're not actually categorized as art but these are people who actually uh eat night and day <laughs> video games and develop them mm -hmm. so if they deserve to be awarded they need to be fair and square so 
This is this is why I I dislike and like about the video game the the game awards, uh, in that aspect because it, it gives us the gamers to vote. But as I still like that critics also vote for the best and who actually deserves it. So yeah, that's just me. I do not want this to be like an Oscar winning thing because it, the the game the game awards is trying very hard to be like the Oscars. So just leave it as it is and change some couple of stuff, okay? Cuz all, all we can see here are way too repetitive games in which a lot of, you know, could be added. And you know, something else that's been bothering me, like, the year hasn't even ended yet. And, and we're gonna have, we're gonna have, like, uh, Smash Brothers right, the date right after the Game Awards. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, like, come on, give the games time, like, at least the end of the month, at least. Just give them time, like, what about just cost four? Um... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, there's there's a lot of that that came out uh, this um, for November and December. Where's Battlefield Five? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Um, I hope seeing you um, uh, in the post podcast that we're going to do after the video game awards end. So yeah, uh, I don't know if we should live stream that one. I don't know if you are uh, up to it, Dan. Should we live stream it? Post? Well, yeah. I'd like to know exactly when that is because I, I, I can't remember if I messaged you or not. But like you said about Smash Ultimate. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> but, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Karibu Kai Play is going to be streaming that on launch night the nice. second it releases. That's going to be I already uh, pre-ordered it though. <laughs> yeah, I well I have it preloaded on eShop. So the second that releases is going to I predict be like at eleven Thursday night and the game awards is the Thursday night, right? Exactly, yes. So I might be taking the time to get ready for that stream so I wouldn't be able to probably stream directly afterwards since i i have that going on but right. i do i would potentially it. be able to talk about it friday uh, all right yeah, friday before uh, yeah, of course uh, yeah so no no um yeah no worries uh, uh on that so it could be either thursday or friday it's yes good to me so yeah guys just stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, guys, um, please don't forget to favorite, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting the channel. This has been Zara Punky. And this has been Officer Dan. Thanks for listening in. We'll see you guys later.